welcome, Jeff. Thanks uh, so much for joining us. Uh, now, I know you as Jeff, but uh, many in the church may know you as Mr. Gerber. Uh, I even had to ask my wife about that, uh, which for reasons that I'm sure you'll explain in a moment, but uh, yep. people may not be uh, aware that you are the new uh, principal at Plattsville Christian School. And so uh, why don't we start off, why don't you just introduce yourself a little bit, uh, tell us a little bit about your role at the school and uh, what's keeping you busy these days. Awesome. Uh, thanks, um, Pastor Tim. I would know you as uh, I would know you as Tim. Yeah. But um, yeah, as as uh, the people who would know me as Mr. Gerber know, I've been at uh, Waterloo Oxford for uh, for over twenty years teaching uh, teaching there. And uh, as I'm getting a little bit closer to uh, to the end of my time with the uh, with the public school board, I um, reduced my teaching timetable at WO second semester, the one we're in now, to a two thirds level to allow myself some time to do other things including um, be the, uh, the new part-time principal at, uh, at PCS. So I was sort of hired on in the fall, but just sort of, you know, was just sort of learning some things and meeting some people at that particular point in time. I actually started on site uh, February 4th, sort of the, what would be the start of semester two at WO. And uh, so I'm there three mornings a week at uh, Plattsville, and then I'm teaching uh, afternoons at WO. And I, I have a bit of connection, obviously, with a number of the people in your, in your congregation that have, that have Cross WO's path, and uh, and also my my wife Julie um, had been on staff in a teaching role and in an administrative role uh, back in the day as well, and uh, and our kids Brooklyn and Catherine Jackson all attended uh, PCS as well. So I guess it's a bit of a full circle, yeah, yeah. full circle, full circle moment for us. Cool, um, and then uh, we do probably have a number of people that are watching online, or even people that have regularly been attending the church. Uh, possibly because they don't have kids of that age uh, or they've come to the church recently. And so they may not be aware about PCS, um, but it is a, a Christian school that was started from within uh, church and it still has some members of our church that are very involved with it. Uh, mm -hmm. But it, uh, in 2016, when we went through incorporation, we incorporated separately more for legal issues uh, than any sort of uh, distancing. Uh, but why don't you just give us a little kind of overview of uh, the school, what it looks like, um, and how, yeah, what's, what School F looks like? Because maybe some people uh, haven't even been down into the church basement before, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, well, we're really blessed with the uh, with the facilities there um, in, in, in the church building. Um, Julie was there back in the day when it was more of a, when it was just beginning almost. Well, not quite when it was beginning, but when it was more of a shared space. So the school's been there since 1990. Um, enrollment sort of fluctuated anywhere between 30 and 60. Right now we're at 50, and that's sort of you know, a very common number for us. So five classes, 10, about 10 students in a class, you know, JKSK, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And um, as you mentioned, sort of the, the legal distinction sort of started happening a couple years back. Um, and, but having the dedicated space is, uh, is fantastic. So there's five, uh, actually six classrooms, five for each of those classrooms that I mentioned. Uh, there's a separate room for, uh, for French. Um, we use the downstairs sort of common area that I think some of you would use on a Sunday as well for our, for our chapel time each week. Mm -hmm. And um, we, have a, uh, we have a lunch room and a um, couple, uh, couple Chromebook carts, sort of computer labs that sort of roll around an office. You know, storage room, photocopier, all that sort of stuff, and we're also blessed to be able to uh, to be able to come upstairs for uh, for phys ed in the gym, and uh, there's a great you know great space outside for uh, for for the playground for uh, recess, and um, so in that sense, it's an awesome facility. I, I sort of like to call it the best kept secret in uh, in in private education. The staff are fantastic, and um, you know, they've been just sort of pouring into people's lives and helping them develop both academically and spiritually. Um, for just over 30 years, I guess. And, and not to put you on the spot, but if I were to say, you know, like why, why PCS, what makes PCS special? Uh, what would you, what would you say to those people? Yeah, I, I think it starts, I think it starts with the staff and with the families. There's certainly, it's small enough that you, that you really know everybody very well. Everybody's really invested, both the staff and the parents. Obviously, um, you know, anybody who's making that sort of extra commitment to education is really going to be involved in what's going on in their school. So there's a lot of other opportunities to be involved. The other thing that's for the, for the size of the school, the wide array of activities that the staff offer and that the students can, you know, contribute and take part in, you know, from, from musicals to skate-a-thons to field trips to interest clubs to charity work in the community, um, 
you know, that's sort of one of the other things that sort of has always impressed me about PCS is, you know, it, there's a lot there considering, um, considering the size of the community. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, and then obviously now we are in a, a very different time uh, and I'm sure that it has uh, changed what school looks like. So just give a us a little update in the era of COVID-19. What does PCS look like and how is it, uh, you know, adapting and changing and what are the challenges facing you guys? Yeah, thanks. Well, well we're, we're seeing one of those changes right now. I appreciate um, you, Pastor Tim, thinking of, wait, it's PCS Sunday. We should sort of talk about PCS. Normally, PCS Sunday looks a little bit different. You'd see more of our staff and, and students in your service um, sharing personally sort of their experiences within the school. Obviously, we're doing that you know, in a virtual way now, so you can make it part of your virtual Sunday morning church service. So that's sort of our reality now. We sort of call it teacher-directed learning at home. Um, Technology is playing a role. Uh, we do have our, we have a live chapel every Wednesday at 10 a.m. So we have all the families and all the kids and all the staff on the same, on the same Zoom call. And, um, you know, we sing together and, you know, sh share a story and celebrate landmarks and all that sort of stuff in everyone's lives. Um, each class has now pretty much got to the point where they all have a Zoom call during the week. Most of the classes are set up in, in Google Classroom and there's content delivered sort of through those means as well as just a traditional, hey, here's, you know, here's some, here's some work for the week. One of the things that I, that I like about, about what we've been able to do is, and the numbers really help with this, is we've really been able to just drill down and have you know just individual teacher contact with families and say, hey, what works with your family right now? What are we doing? What can we do a little bit more of? What can we do a little bit less of? What format works for you? Not everybody likes to do a classroom approach. Some people still like just a regular email. Some people like a phone call. Um, and with our sort of you know our staff to student ratios, we're able to sort of really tailor what works for the families and just sort of guide them through and you know continue some some learning at home in the midst of you know. A, a very unusual situation. Yeah. And uh, along those lines, uh, I know there's normally, uh, we would have, I think we've already would have had it or maybe yeah. it'd be this weekend, actually, I think the uh, PCX auction, which is a big fundraising effort uh, for you guys that I know is a big part of, of your budget and, and, and the financial uh, side of things. And so uh, I know initially you had delayed that till May. I'm not sure there's any more details or, or a place even people can kind of find out more about that because I know there are a number of people in the church that do like to attend that. Um, so yeah. Yeah, no, I appreciate the opportunity to, to provide a bit of an update there too. Yeah, it just would have been a, a little earlier in April, the, the sign auction and dinner. And we know that a lot of people in the community and certainly in, in, in the church um, you know, look forward to attending that event and, you know, do some shopping there and eat a good meal there and all that and all those sorts of things. At this point, we don't, we don't have a new date planned. We have already, we'd already started to collect most of the items. So we have sort of everything in our hands. It's just a matter of, you know, waiting till, you know, waiting till we're allowed to sort of, you know, gather people together and whether, um, whether we maybe do the auction part, you know, without a dinner, you know, it can maybe social distance at an auction a little easier than, uh, you know, than sitting down to share a, to share a buffet meal. That might be another few steps down the road. Um, but yeah, there'll be, as we sort of finalize those things, we'll be sharing them. Uh, we'll be sharing them with our families and with our partners. But right now, I guess you just have to say things are on hold. We're sort of following the ministry announcements, which come out every, you know, every few weeks, they extend things another two or three weeks down the road. So rather than, rather than pick a date, then just have to move it again. Um, you know, we're just sort of putting a pause on that till we, till we get a green light. Good stuff. Um, and then, uh, lastly, how can we in this time be, be praying for you guys, supporting you, uh, you know, what's really on, on your guys' heart right now? Yeah. Yeah. No, appreciate that. You can certainly pray for, pray for the staff and all of our families, just like every, just like every family in your church, it's a different time for all of us. So we would appreciate that. Uh, we would appreciate that prayer support for sure. Um, certainly just for, I mean, the, the school's been around a long time and has, you know, gone through lots of different, uh, lots of different phases. So this phase would certainly be an, certainly be a new phase for us. So just prayer for, you know, just prayer for wisdom and guidance for the, for the board um, and for the staff as they sort of lead, as they sort of lead through this time, as you know, as a leader of an organization that's really used to just meeting in person and doing things a certain way. Um, changes like this have, have, you know, have impacts, um, you know, financial impacts, operations impacts. There's lots of different ways that these things sort of, that these sort of things roll out. So just trusting God for, you know, for leadership and guidance through, uh, through this, you know, through this phase till we return to what we understand school to normally be like. Yeah. 
<laughs> um, and so if, if people want to connect with uh, either you or with the school in general, uh, I know, you know, September enrollment is uh, probably yeah. the windows slowly opening at least. Uh, yeah, well, for sure. Yeah. Where, where's the best place for them or how's the best place, uh, yeah. what best uh, way for them to uh, get a hold of you guys? Yeah, best place is probably just to go to the website, PlatsvilleChristianSchool.com. Um, all the registration information is up there for 2020, 2021, um, along with the contact form to contact the school, all our phone numbers, email addresses, all that sort of stuff. So that's a great window to, um, to learning a bit more about the school. Um, you know, if you're interested in, you know, what happens on a daily basis, obviously, tuition is obviously something people always want to know about. All those things are all on the website. So I appreciate the opportunity to sort of point those out to uh, to people. My contact information is there as well. So, uh, you know, phone call or email to me is great. Great too. Cool. Well, thanks so much for uh, joining us in this, again, yeah, virtual PCS Sunday highlight. Uh, when we're back meeting in person, uh, we'll have to make sure to, uh, you know, invite the, the staff and students to come and join us for a Sunday morning uh, like normal. But, uh, yeah, thanks so much for joining us and give us a little update. Oh, that's great, Pastor Tim. Thanks so much for having us. Appreciate your support.